Hi guys, welcome to my Titan speed run of this week's Prestige Nightfall. Now, I've started it off with this clip, and this was me and someone, some of you guys might recognise, this is Pyro Gaming. Uh, we done a two-man, couple of two-man Nightfalls this week, and it's just to show you guys that two-man the boss and getting the, the insta-kill on the boss is just as easy with two as it is with three. Exactly the same as you would do it solo. Blast barricade, shotguns, uh, Pyro's using Hawthorn shotgun, and we pretty much melted the boss. So I thought I'd start that with this video with that just to show another strategy as well. Uh, and just to give me a chance to say thanks to everybody that's came to the channel this week. It's been insane. It really has not, you know, it's taken me back, taken me aback a little bit. I didn't expect any of these videos to do any more than what any of my other videos have done. And just to see the growth that the channel's had, I, I can't tell you how much it means. It does mean a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, and I will try, I will strive to live up to your expectations of the channel. So, long may it continue. The content will still keep coming and the content will still be of the same standard. Hopefully, hopefully, because it's the goal when anybody does anything like this is to get better. So, hopefully the content will improve. As most people know that have been with the channel, which, you know... People that have stuck by me and been with the channel for as long as they have, you guys have made it possible for this week to have happened. So, I mean, that's just, it's just, you know, it's just as much thanks to you guys as, as anyone else. Uh, you guys will know I don't do speed runs. It's just not what I do. I do, I do guides. But I, I, I had a couple of comments. I suppose the more people that watch the video and comment in the video, the more diverse the comments are. And it's always interesting when people who don't speed run or don't do solos or don't do guides give you advice on how to do this <laughs> so i'm i'm 75 videos deep i'm four years of solo and raids nightfalls and everything and someone will say ah you should use this gun oh, okay why because i use it and it's really good and heroic strikes that's not Nightfall, is it? And you've got two other guys. <laughs> it's slightly different. So I've, I've had people saying, uh, I kill us, hello. Well, the reason I didn't do an I kill us solo was because a lot of people don't have I kill us. But for this speed run, because I've already done a run, I suppose I've put it up on the channel just to say, oh, wait a minute, I can do this stuff. I just choose not to. So, it's an eight and a half minute run. For anybody that's just interested in the run, it starts at uh, six minutes, seven seconds. So, you can just skip to the run if you want. Uh, the setup is going to be Sunbreaker. Top, top tree of the subclass uh, to get the melt, to get melting point. Thermite grenade, strafe lift, and I use rally barricade. I use strafe lift because I like to go forward, not up. I don't like the high lift and I don't see the point in catapult. So I like to go forward. I like to move at a decent pace. I because we can't tighten skate on console. Getting that boost on the jump is about as close to tighten skating as you can get. And I used to tighten skate quite a lot in D1. So setup is the same for weapons. I'm running with better devils. I've still got an Arkman Annan. That's not going to change. In fact, that could become a feature regardless of what burn I do it on. I just might use an Arkman Annan for everything. And this is my Kellos. Uh, this I, this I Kellos I actually got from doing the Flashpoint. I think once you get a weapon from Escalation, it goes into the loot pool and you can get it from Milestones. So it's pretty cool to get a 3851 because I just need an, I just need arms. That's all I need. I've got 381 arms. Give me. Nothing this week. All my flash, all my my milestones give me boots and chests. It's thoroughly annoying. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there's the Ikelos. Uh, you can't beat trench barrel. I, I Hawthorne shotgun is a brilliant, brilliant shotgun. Perfect paradox is obviously a very good shotgun as well. But the trench barrel, given the fifty percent additional damage, when you're using Sunbreaker, getting the the melting point. Now, what you need to know about buffs is they don't add, they multiply. So you don't go, oh, look, I've got this, and it's times 50, and it's not. It's, it, it multiplies, not adds. The only thing I would say for anybody doing speed runs or anybody doing runs is, if you've got a group of guys, and you're all doing it, and one of them is a Night Stalker, you should never tether a boss, because it actually nullifies the effects of the other buffs. Just a little thing there. Uh, 
I think the highest multiplier you can get is 6.25 or something. And that's with trench barrel, shoulder charge, bloop, tra tractor can, and empowering rift. If you've got all them combined in this, on the same boss, you'll do something like a 6.25. You'll be doing that times damage. So, interesting fact there. So, anybody that skipped to the, the run, you missed that. <laughs> so, uh, same same setup I'm using. I'm using uh, Lion Rampant because we want to go through the Infant Forest at a rate of knots. I took off Extinguish for this run because I've done three runs with Extinguish. You know that the, the strategy is good. I had somebody comment saying they soloed the very first Nightfall in Destiny 2 ever and done the first Prestige following my guide. That was exactly the type of stuff that this content exists for, really. So, Solar Burn, uh, Solar Singe, which I think... Somebody said it's a 25%. I didn't think it was that high. I thought it was 12.5%, but 25% extra... Uh, heavyweight, and we've got momentum on. So the strategy consists of the things you really need to do is you need to make sure you've got your super by the time you get to the end of the infinite forest. If you've got your super by the time that you get to the end of the infinite forest, you can attack all those ads on the plate with the hammer. And as you can see, I pretty much wipe out all of them just with the super. And then make sure you've got full heavy for the boss. Uh, we're going to skip the last sec, the last add section so really we aren't really going to do a lot of fighting until we get to the boss it's probably apart from the few ads i shoot within the infinite forest this is the most ads i'm going to kill till i get to the boss and i'm going to kill a few ads here i know it's a speed run but i still need to build my super so i'm going to kill a few ads here because we have to kill those two phalanxes anyway we're gonna, we've got to kill the cabal a few of the cabal and the boss so i'm, I'm just trying to generate some orbs uh, so th that is obviously how you open. I've heard people say it's just the two phalanx or, you know, it's random. It's not. I always kill the two phalanx. Then the two cabal that, that, that are up next to the portal with the boss. And that opens the gate every time. So that's really all you've got to kill. May maybe it's, you know, I do always kill a few more cabal. So maybe, maybe, maybe it is just a few more cabal, but... I'm pretty sure a couple of the runs I've done, all I've done is kill these two guys, the two shielded phalanx, and the boss, and it opens the gate. I think the fastest I've managed to get through the portal, at period, is like a minute and five seconds. That's the fastest. So we're through, we're two-thirds way into my super. I do kill a few adds, nothing major. I never attack in a, in a, in a, in a kind of populated area. It's always the in-between bits where you're running from area to area. There might be two scions or some exploding vex. I'll just kill them because I'm not going to be taking any heat while I'm doing that. The other thing I would say about the infinite forest, obviously you've got you've got momentum on, uh, and so you'll be regenerating your health. I always look for a bit of cover to get behind when I'm accessing the door, or uh, don't because we've got the line rampant as you can see. You can make some insane jumps, so just always try and take the quickest route to the portal. If it's heavily populated, if, if you know you're going to take a lot of heat on the way to the portal, that's the only time you take a roundabout route. Because the enemies, especially if they're bigger enemies like the Cabal, the Centurions and stuff like that, they, they can really, they can be a pain in the backside. They'll jump towards where you are. So if your direction you're going in leads them away from the portal, it just buys you that bit of extra time. So, yep, yeah, I think these are the last two ads I kill because we've just about got our super. Now, we're going to take that route I took on my hunter, which is there's a, there's a gap in the wall. That's the gap you're aiming for. You jump onto a kind of a, a platform, it's like a raised platform, and then straight up through the gap in the wall, and that's you on the plate. M try and proc momentum, at, you know, jump a bit to proc momentum you don't have to wait for momentum to proc, but don't just run up and pop your super. Try and get a jump on to get momentum to proc in case you do get hit by one of the snipers and then you're regenerating your health immediately. Uh, but all the all the, all the scions kind of group together. And if you hit them with your first hammer, easy. So we jump from here onto this platform, this one here, this raised platform here, and then up, up onto this kind of gap in the wall. We jump, 
proc bang. Now, if I memory serves me correctly, I think I have to shoot one scion. Yeah, but he's at the right. I have to shoot this guy on the right. And I'm pretty sure that's all the scions dead. And we're through. The really simple if you just if you keep your head on a swivel and make sure that the, that when you're jumping that there aren't a couple of cabal that have went underneath you because they will wipe you they will wipe you. you just have to be aware of your surroundings but that is advice for doing any kind of solo prestige activities you've got to be aware of your surroundings so we've made it through the portal we made it through the infinite forest where it's a good time we're now just going to jump this section here like we always do, and and when we get to the other side, get straight on the spiral, and then we'll get off to shoot these two scions because it's solar solar singe. They, they can be really nasty on solar. It's practically a one hit kill. So just take them to be safe. And once they're down, that is the last ads we're really going to have to shoot till we get to the boss. So it's you know. It really is a really efficient run. We're at five minutes at the moment. So we're going to get to the boss in what, about six minutes? Six, six and a half minutes. I think seven minutes by the time I attack the boss. So from start to finish, from the minute I first hit the boss, it takes about a minute and a half or something to complete the whole, the whole boss section. So it is a really efficient run. It's a really quick, quick way to do this. The only problem with this run, and I've stated it in other videos, and haven't actually done it, I will say this. There is, the, what we're going to do here to skip this next section. If you're proc and momentum, as long as you don't get hit by two snipers together, you'll always get through it. Make sure you shoulder charge, to, because the shoulder charge just moves you out the way of the sniper shot. So what we're doing is, we're taking this side route. So there's a little platform down here, we land on that. Bang, straight up onto the main bit. Then a big jump. Now, obviously, the line rampant can take us all the way around here. And then we're going to go round the outside of this sniper. And then now, once we shoulder charge, we've got our checkpoint. Even if you do die now, you're gonna, you'll spawn back at the boss. You will spawn up at the boss. As you can see, the shoulder charge, it's the shoulder charge and momentum that's saving me there. So... I've said in videos I don't like that strategy because I don't like to die in my videos and the only reason this is up on my channel is because I didn't die in my video. <laughs> so uh, there we go. What are you looking at? 6 minutes 40. We're at the boss. That's not bad for a prestige. I think I think that constitutes as a speed run. So take these ads out and then what we're going to do is it's Put put your blast if you're gonna do if you if you're gonna do this with with a shotgun, put your rally barricade exactly where I have, get your heavy out and run round this box. By the time you get back round here, you can just shoulder charge straight into him. So it's you know, get a couple of shots, get behind your barricade, couple of shots, duck again, get get your reload. And that's probably where I missed out on the one phase, is not getting shots off him sooner. As you can see, he has got nothing. He has got absolutely nothing. So I'm going to put a grenade down. The ads are in. Uh, and the only thing we really want to do here is kill the Minotaur. So we are going to go and melt the Minotaur. Now, I've got my super. So we're getting into this room. I'm not going to bother with running up to him and shotgun and pop the super. One hammer. He's gone. It's about as quick as... You know, the the thing that makes it slower, actually, if you notice, the Minotaur, who always spawns up here, didn't. And I was kind of jumping about thinking he kept teleporting, and he wasn't even here. He'd spawned down, down there next to the Cabal. So we just go and take him through to the last section, and we're done. That is the run. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. I hope you guys... I hope you guys give it a go. If, if, if you manage to do it using this strategy, leave me a comment. Let me know how you got on. Uh, thank you very much. As I say, I can't thank you guys enough for the support I've had this week. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Long may it continue, guys. Uh, I have been live Mondo. This has been my first and maybe only ever speed run. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.